the Voices of Kentucky Anna, hosted by Debbie Crawford, music by Clay Beverly, produced by Lynn King. This is Debbie Crawford with the Voices of Kentuckiana, and we're here at Girls Inc. for an interesting event that they're going to have, and Susan's going to tell us more about that. What is the event you have coming up? It's the 13th annual She Knows Where She's Going luncheon, where we honor three strong, smart, and bold women in our community. Yes. And um, it is uh, our the biggest fundraiser that Girls Inc. has. It's the only one that we'll have this year. It's sold out, <laughs> and we're very excited. Awesome. Now, with all these funds that you raised during this luncheon, what do some of those funds go to in, at Girls Inc. in order for the girls to have events? The funds from the Girls Inc. luncheon go to support all of the programs programs that we provide at Girls Incorporated. We offer all different kinds of programs. Our goal or our mission is to inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. Yes. And we offer all kinds of programs all year round. And you, you, I know you have crafts and you also have Tri uh, field trips that you go out in the community you do different things we do we so. we actually build our programs around uh, a template from our national organization so that we make sure that we um, cover lots of uh, different things for the girls and give them lots of experiences so that they can try new things and um, it's, may, it's it's a great place to try something new or decide if you really like something or not yeah. maybe learn a new skill so you know sometimes girls learn something and it's sparks an interest and it yes. becomes a career. Sometimes it becomes a hobby. Um, but we we offer all kinds of classes from, as you said, crafts. We do, we, we focus a lot on science and math, technology. Right now we have a 3D printers club going. So we actually, yes. uh, our uh, program director, Emily Roberts, wrote a grant and we received a 3D printer. The girls have been designing their own creation. Oh, wow. And it is based on something that will help someone else. So so I think they're getting close to printing. Oh, we'll have so to come I'm back very and check excited that out. about that. Yes. <laughs> now, when I think of Girls Inc., I think of an enrichment program. It's not just a daycare or a facility where the girls come and and stay for a while and do homework. It's an enrichment because the programs that you offer, like you said, they get to try different things. Exactly. Um, we are not a child care. We're, we are after school and summer um, program. Um, and so we, we do offer those things. We think that is what we have to offer Make to sure the girls unique. in our community. Yes, is all of the different kinds of programming. For example, um, we now have, we've been renovating for several years and it's been the world's longest renovation, oh. <laughs> but we've never closed. And so right. we're still, we still got some work to do, but we just were able to open back up our clay room so now the girls are able to work on pottery and clay we have a new kiln right. and um, so those are some experiences that they're not necessarily going to have right. anywhere else and um, we have lots of different kinds of girls so we have girls who are very techy and we have girls who are very artistic and yes. and so we really try to offer lots of experiences so that they can um, do a variety of things oh that's awesome now if they weren't able to make it to the dinner, mm -hmm. which that's already sold out. Mm -hmm. Hey, can, how can they donate to Girls Inc. if they want to donate to Girls Inc.? Well, to support Girls Inc., to find out about our programs, to um, find out about um, employment opportunities because we're always looking for good staff. Right. Um, you can contact us at girlsincmadison at gmail.com. Okay. Our phone number is 812-265. 5863. Um, I'm Susan Stahl. I'm the executive director. Emily Roberts is our program director and Connie Leap is our assistant program director. Any of us can help you with um, any of questions that you might have about Girls Inc. Oh, that's 
That's great. Now, is there anything else we need to make sure everybody knows if they have a question well, about? Just so folks know, we will um, be open the week of March 21st for spring break. Yes. We do close the week of March 14th. Um, to most girls, there are a couple of snow makeup days in there, so we're going to open for that. But other than that, we'll be closed to the girls the week of March 14th, open for extended hours, 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. the week of March 21st, and then we're gearing up for summer. So um, it's never too soon to that, gear up for that, summer. That we will have registration packets for summer available, right. hopefully over spring break. So stop in and see us. Oh, that's great, Susan. Well, thanks for being with us. I You're welcome. This. I appreciate your coming to talk about Girls Inc. I love it. Oh, that's great. Well, we're, we're going to come back. So. Okay, good. Well, this is Debbie Crawford with the Voices of Kentuckiana. Thanks for watching.